Good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Sammy here at Sammy J Stitches, and it's time for a new week, uh, new floss tube, week of vlogs. Hopefully, a little bit better than last week. Um, today is Mon Tuesday. It's very early hours on Tuesday. Um, I was a little late getting my video up this week because I'm a mess. That's it, it's as simple as that. There's no excuse. I'm a mess. Um, so I didn't record earlier because I was busy putting a video together, but um. We, we stuck with the plan tonight, and we got some stitching in, and that, that's really nice. Uh, got plenty of work done, did 270 miles, um, and, and got lots of stuff turned in. It just felt like a very productive night. I feel good about it. So, of course, we're working on Garden Prelude still, so I put a Daily 100 into her. Look at those beautiful skirts. She's going to be so easy to keep doing the Daily 100 on, seriously. Um, and then tonight's, uh, project was Angel of the New Dawn. I needed 200 more stitches for it to meet its thousand for last month's category goals. And we easily got that. I want to say, well, I'm, that may be exactly what I got tonight was 200, maybe a couple more, but anyways, the category for last month is done. So, um, all we have left is Dark Queen of the Earth, which we'll be working on tonight. Um, now she needs... 700 more for last month's goal so probably not gonna do it tonight um but you know we'll see her tonight and then sometime next week and that should knock her out excuse me um so yeah i'm feeling really good uh the goals for this month are only 500 so those should be pretty easy to obtain and um and, and feel like we're back on track so um yeah that's really it for this morning. I know it's uh, quick and easy, but I need to get packed up and head home. So I hope y'all are having some wonderful stitching time and I will check in with you tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, October 5th. Um, apparently this is gonna become our new thing where I just record at the end of the night because I got calls right at the beginning of the night and then after that, I just, I get into my rhythm, you know, and I forget to record. So, um, we kept with the, with the plan for tonight and we got a hundred stitches in on Garden Prelude. Um, so we're really filling in that skirt. It's looking so good. And I think we'll have a couple nights next week with it. Um, of course, when we're at home, we'll be working on the full coverage once upon a fairy tale. Um, and then tonight I worked on... Earth Queen. It's a Dark Queen of the Earth, but I have two Dark Queens and I feel like that's going to get a little confusing. So this is Earth Queen. And uh, so we got a few hundred stitches into it. Look at that needle minder. Isn't it gorgeous? Okay, so that's it for the, this last night. Um, still listening to my audiobook. It is so good, y'all. Um, I think I've got less than an hour left. Um, yeah, so we're off tonight, going to work on Once Upon a Fairy Tale and uh, maybe catch up on Nordic Band Sampler. So I will check in with y'all later this evening. I should have some happy mail to share too. Good afternoon, everybody. Okay, I got in the mail that I expected to get. In fact, a little more than I expected to get. I forgot about this one. So this is from Dinky Dyes. Open it up. Let's see what we got. I forgot about this one. All right. So the first one I got is sweaters, please. It says autumn breeze and sweaters, please, and it has a little fox on it. So super cute. As soon as I saw this one, I knew I had to have it. This is from Cherry Hill Stitchery. It's 121 by 125, so it's a nice medium pattern. So, it has um, a couple week dye works, a classic color works, and some DMC, but it has DMC substitutions for everything. So, super cute. I have three of those. And then I have quilts, long dog sampler. This was requested by somebody in the group. Um, in fact, I think two somebody's. So I may only have, did they only send me two? 
well, I don't have any of them to go in the shop because they only sent me two. Um, 130 by 298. So I can always order more, but I'm not putting this one in the shop this time. Sweet. All right, and the last one I got is from Shannon Christine Designs. It says Old Fashioned. Old Fashioned Hot Cocoa. Served daily, marshmallows included. Syrups, toffee, caramel, peppermint, add-ons, candy cane, whipped cream, sprinkles, and cinnamon. Super cute. This is 114 by 160, and it has about 10 DMC colors. I got three of those going in the shop. All right, now for the big one. This one is gonna be massive. They seal the box and then they tape the box, and I don't know how I'm supposed to get in the box, but. They're, they made sure nobody else got in the box along the way. <laughs> Okay, y'all, this thing. It's awesome. Let's see, did we get everything? Looks like we got everything. That hardly ever happens. Mm, well, we didn't get everything, but close enough. It's fine. All right. First things first, <laughs> this was kind of a, a selfish purchase. Um, this is Merlot from Wheat's Dye Works. I needed one for the gift of giving. Um, I, I, I kitted it up and I needed one. And so I ordered one for myself and a couple more. So I have a couple of those. Let's go ahead and put that back in the bag so I don't lose it. All right, <clears throat> next. We have All Hallows Eve from Erica Michaels. This is 190 by 35. And it looks like it has a little drum and a um, strawberry with it. Uses some Weeks Dye Works, some DMC. So, All Hallows Eve, that's super cute. I have um, two, maybe three. I think this one might have been requested. Pretty sure. Pretty sure I only have two going in the shop. This is Autumn Cloche from Hello from Liz Matthews. Um, that is super cute. I hadn't looked too closely at it before. It is um, 287 by 175, so it is not tiny. Has three, six, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 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 fourteen. DMCs or it's also charted for NPI silks. So if you want to get a little spendy, that's that's there too. I have one going in. I ordered three. They sent two. One has already been requested and one can go up in the shop. All right, here's everybody's favorite. It's the beaver from uh, Cottage Garden Samplings. It uses three, five, nine, nine colors. It is 100 by 130. Super cute. I believe I have two or three going up in the shop. I ordered like eight because I had so many people request this one. Um, and only a couple are going in the shop. So that tells you something. I had to order more of Seasons of the Heart because um, I had more requests for it. So... If you're interested i had to order more of the little brown bat because i had people asking for it from cottage garden samplings um this is sirens tart from plum street samplers it is 78 by 68 little mermaid so and this is um and it's got three four, five, ten, eleven eleven colors it calls for weeks dye works but has a conversion dmc and I have two of those going into the shop. 
Next, we have um, from Bent Creek Uber Jack. Look at that. How appropriate is this? Like, with it being October and everything. This is super cute. I'm going to have to stitch this one. 121 by 98. Look at that little black cat. It's so cute. All right, it has four colors. Super, super simple. Um, just over the medium mark, but... I want to stitch it. I have three of those going into the shop. All right. I ordered some more of the Christmas ornament magazine because I had a couple people ask for them. I have, um, I want to say maybe one going in the shop. I think same with the Halloween issue. Just cross stitch magazine. And then... We also got two Frosty for the Gift of Giving series. Um, so this is the one I, I kid at that I needed the Merlot for because her dress is that Merlot and I was like, I think I need it. Um, and then there are gonna be four sets of these ornaments for each one of the characters. Um, I've already got Rudolph, this one's Frosty. And any day now, um, the third one should be coming out. I think it might be Elves. I'm not sure. And Santa comes last, I think. I think that's how that works. So I have two of those going into the shop because one has already been requested. Um, we got Keepsakes Book One from Sue Hillis Designs. These are, so this is one, two, and three. So it makes kind of like this quilt. If you decide to stitch them all together, it makes like this quilt quilt and so this one is hold on yeah stitching with my friends this one oh it's four of them stitching with my friends this one this one and this one so this first row <laughs> I'm getting there people I'm getting there okay um so let's keep six book one I have two extra of it. Hold on. Don't let me lie to you. I have one extra of it going into the shop. Then we have book two. So the second row. Um, and these are 165 by 221 stitches. No, that's, that's the whole thing if you put all of them together. Does it say how much each square is? Each square is 50 stitches. So is that 50 by 50? Two. Looks like it. 50 by 50 on each of the squares. So that's book two I have one extra of. And then book three. So you can get the entire set if you want to. But I only have one. <laughs> but I can always get more. All right. That's everything. So... I'm going to go get all this put in the shop and then, um, well, first Ryan and I are going to watch some amazing race and cross stitch and then I will get all this put in the shop. So we'll check in with y'all later. Okay. Good morning, everybody. I am beat. I am ready for bed. Um, but I wanted to do a quick check in. You hear the purring, of the kitty kitty. This is Toulouse. Toulouse. Yeah, he's... He's ready for bed. So, um, the first thing I worked on, but he's in my lap and, oh, it's okay. I scared him off. Actually, he probably thought I was getting up to go to bed. Okay. First thing we worked on was Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And we actually did 200 stitches on it tonight. <laughs> I got into something where I had to put 200 in and um, I couldn't change projects in the middle of it. So I was like, that's fine. We'll just go ahead and finish out this page and put these last 200 stitches in. So if you take a real close look there, we've got a page all done. And actually I decided that's a really good thing because I don't think I'll get to stitch on this on Saturday. So um, went ahead and knocked Saturday's stitches out. So we will work on it again tonight. Um, but we're we're going to Six Flags on Saturday, so I'm 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 taking stitching, but I didn't want to take a hate. So 
we got Saturday's stitches knocked out and um, we'll work on Thursday's stitches later today. Um, this is a very horrible picture, but that's what it's gonna look like. So, got 200 in on that, and then I pulled out Nordic Winter Band Sampler, and it now has cat fur all over it because Toulouse was loving on it. Um, I did not get completely caught up, but I did get a good bit done. I got um, September's piece completed, and we're working on October's piece, and as you can see, I already got quite a bit going there. Um, I think it's actually going to stitch up really quickly. It would only take me another night. It'll be next week, but um, we got, it looks like uh, socks and hats, so super cute, and um, yeah, we'll work on it more later. I put about 650 or so stitches in it tonight, so it was a good stitchy night, but I did nothing else. Well, I mean, I did shop stuff at the beginning of the night, but once I sat down to stitch, that's all I did. So I didn't get any laundry done today. I didn't get dishes done. Um, my my house needs my attention tomorrow, but hopefully I can get that done during the day and then we can have another night like tonight. Um, I forgot what we're working. Oh, I think we're working on trick or treat today. Um, it's my category piece for October for um, holiday, holiday, pretty sure. So we'll be working on that tonight. Um, but now I'm going to go get some rest and we will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, my friends. Okay, it is, what day is it, Gus Gus? It is Friday morning, but this is Thursday's vlog. Gus, Gus, say hi. He's like, no. Anyway, um, yes, I'm wearing the same shirt because lazy days off, man. So lazy today. Oh, that reminds me, I need to go swap the laundry. <laughs> I started a load, um, but that's as far as I got. I might switch it to the dryer. Anyway, we got an early morning tomorrow, so we're trying to get to bed a little bit earlier. Um, I've got a doctor's appointment in the morning, uh, that, <sighs> so my doctor's office schedules, this, this is something they can't do, right? So they schedule me to go see this other doctor, like a referral, right? But they don't tell me, <laughs> they tell me they're going to make the referral. They don't tell me when it's scheduled for, they don't tell me who it's scheduled with. They don't tell me anything. And then all of a sudden, yesterday, I got a phone call that's reminding me of my appointment tomorrow. And I'm like, well, first of all, good thing I had the day off because you, most of the time, the way I knew it is referrals, they, they tell them, hey, we need you to see this patient. And they call and say, hey, when can we set up an appointment? Not this place. Anyways, so... um. I'm going for my first mammogram tomorrow. Um, they, they're having me do it young because I have a family history. Um, if it goes okay, then it'll be years before I have to do it again. I don't have to start the yearly ones till I'm 40, I think. Anyway, so that's the plans early in the morning. And then we've got some running around, some errands to do because that's life. You going to say hi now, Gus, guys? Hey. No? like just leave me alone okay so anyway to the stitching we got done today was another hundred stitches on um once upon a fairy tale i had this huge debate do i go left do i go down do i go left do i go down there may be a little bit of both i may do a couple squares up here and then do some squares down here who knows who cares um but this one moved pretty quickly tonight so that was nice remember that I did 200 yesterday to help cover for Saturday. So I will try and do another 100 stitches tonight. We, we should have time. We should get home with plenty of time for me to do that. Um, I do have to go to bed early tonight because we are going to Six Flags on Saturday. Um, it doesn't open till noon, which means we don't have to leave till 8 a.m. So I'll still be able to stay up till like midnight. Um, and then 
So I should be able to get my daily hundred in there. And then tonight's project. Now, remember this month's categories are only 500 stitches instead of a thousand or 1500 like the prior months. Um, so I'm almost there on this project already. So we worked on trick or treat from cottage garden samplings last night. Um, this is 430 stitches and I need 500. So you are going to see it again next week, but it's not going to be as necessary. In fact, depending on my mood now, to be honest with this one, I'll probably just want to stitch on it all night. If I hit my goal, I do have the option to change to something else of a goal, but I'll probably work on it all night because it's so cute. Look at it. I alternate one strand of border with one strand of something in the middle. So... It's looking good. Um, the fabric's coming out a little bit more brown than it is. In real life, it's more orange. But it still looks good. It still looks real good. So that was it for today. Tomorrow, we are doing Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And then I think my other one is Stand for Freedom. So depending on how tomorrow night goes, I may get some stitches into it. I may get it finished. It's only 500 stitches, and it's... Um, all one color, so, or mostly one color. I think I'm almost through the blue. Anyway, that should go pretty quickly. Yeah. And then Saturday, I'm taking temperature butterflies with me to Six Flags. So, that's it. I'm going to go get some sleep. And guess, guess, you want to go see? Guys. You want to go see? Hmm? Because I am sleeping. Why are you messing with me? <laughs> like it's like he knows I'm on camera and he doesn't want to be. Um, okay, so yeah, that's it for me today. We we had tacos for dinner. They were super good. I made queso and I poured queso on the taco. Yeah, it was real good. And did sent off some packages today. Just. I don't know. I didn't get near enough done today that as I should have, but eh, what you gonna do? I only have so many days off. <laughs> I'll get some more done tomorrow. So I'm gonna head to bed and I'll talk to y'all this evening. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so it is well, it's really just after midnight. Um Friday, no, Saturday, October eighth. Um, but this is actually the vlog for the 7th because I didn't see y'all yesterday. Got up early, had to go to the doctor, had my first mammogram. Um, it went beautifully. It was so easy. And the waiting room, like after they take you out of the main waiting room and they get you dressed in the gown, the waiting room they have you sit in there had massage chairs. It was super nice. So anyway, um, went and got that done today. And then we went to Home Depot to buy some stuff to start fixing the other house. And then um, I went by and got picked up some of Lexi's contacts and then we came home and then we started tearing out walls in the other house. So it, it was a busy, busy, exhausting day. Um, but my husband drove, because we were driving the pickup in order to be able to put stuff from Home Depot in the back. So, and I don't really care much for driving the pickup these days. Um, I need some TLC. So anyway, um, I got to stitch on the way there and on the way back. And then of course, most of this evening after we decided to settle down. So, um, on the way there and back, I worked on Stand for Freedom, but I finished with it. So first I'm gonna show you my daily 100. I did this afternoon and remember, um, I already did tomorrow's daily 100 on Once Upon a Fairy Tale, so we're good on that. So here's where we're at for this week. Well, not really. Um, I'm off on Sunday, so we'll have one more day of working on this one. I need to set up next week's schedule. I haven't done that yet. I'm just, I'm exhausted. <laughs> so I'll do that tomorrow. But here's this. And we'll be taking temperature butterflies with us tomorrow. So... And then here is Stand for Freedom. Like, I didn't have any of this part of the beak or any of the red. All of that is new. I did 700 stitches today. 
which is a couple more than which is a couple hundred more than I needed for my goal for the month on this. But of course, we're still not at the yearly goal on this. Um, but it was it was some nice stitching today. So we um, we watched Saul this evening. Saul three is my favorite of the Sauls, and so heck and I stitched and they watched and it was it was nice and relaxing. So I am going to head to bed. We gotta get get up pretty early in the morning to drive to San Antonio. It's about a four hour drive. Um, taking the kids to Six Flags for Fright Fest. So I'll try and get a couple clips of that for y'all to see. But for the most part, I'm gonna sit at the cafe um, and stitch while the kids run around and play. And then I might go to a couple haunted houses with them. I, uh, I did, I stepped on a thorn today, like I say a thorn, it was like this big and it's one of those where it's sharp at the top but it gets bigger as it goes down, like massive thing, went all the way through my shoe and into my foot. So my foot is swollen and um, not looking forward to walking around on it very much tomorrow. So we will see, but I will try and get some clips anyway. All right, I will talk to y'all later. I hope y'all have a wonderful stitchy evening. Good evening, y'all, and welcome back. It is Sunday night. It is time, the final piece of the vlog, and as you can see, I am so super tired. Um, so we had a lot of fun yesterday. Uh, it was exhausting. My whole body hurts. I'm just so tired. I slept all day today, and still I feel like I could sleep for another whole, whole another day. Um, I mean, I did get up, and I've cleaned house and stuff like that today, but I didn't want to. Um, I didn't get a lot of stitching done. When we first got to San Antonio, I dropped the kids off and I had to go get the oil changed and run some errands. Then I got up there and the place was packed. Six Flags had so many people. I'm like, we've been several times over the last several few years and it's never been this full of people. So, and I think maybe some of that is, like, it's the first time people are really feeling comfortable post-COVID. And then maybe also because it's Fright Fest. But I know when we went Fright Fest last year, it was not, it was nothing compared to what it was this year. Um, so, I went to the cafe. I usually go to Stitch and it's packed with people. There was nowhere to sit. And so, I ended up at a different, like, a German hall and it's you know, big, long, like, picnic bench tables and wooden. And so I was sitting there for a little bit stitching, but it was very uncomfortable and people were coming and going. And so I was like, you know, I think I'm just going to, I was, I had brought temperature butterflies to work on with me. I don't have it here with me, but anyway. Um, and I was like, yeah, I, these, the butterflies are small enough like, I could take it out of the Q-snap and just stitch in hand and be able to be wherever the kids are. Because if they're just standing in line, I can, you know, see what section I'm working on, what color it needs to be, put it in my pocket, put my phone in my pocket, stitch that whole section, then pull it out and do the, you know? It, it seemed like I had brought the easiest pattern for doing that. So, I went and took my iPad and stuff out to the car and I had the fabric and the um, floss card in my pocket. And I had my husband's shorts on, so it had these really long pockets, so it worked perfect. And um, so I asked the kids, I said, where are y'all? And they were fixing to watch like a music show thing that they were putting on. Um, so I went and watched that with them and, and stitched in hand. Now I stitch in hand a lot slower. Um, especially because I didn't have a, the right needle for it. The one, the needle I had was kind of sharp. So I was constantly like, um, splitting threads and stuff. So I had to take it a lot slower. And, and of course I was getting distracted by everything around me, but I got about 170 stitches in yesterday. It's better than nothing. Um, and of course I didn't work on Once Upon a Fairy Tale because we had done the stitches for it a few days before. So then today... Um, well, we got out of, the park closes at 11 
And then we got out of the parking lot about 1140. I'm telling you there was a lot of people. Um, they did better at not getting like really messed up congested, but it was still a process of merging where some people are really, really bad at it. Um, taking turns, some kids were not taught that and they are now adults. Um, just jerk faces. Anyway, I got so irritated last night. That's one of my biggest pet peeves when driving is people that don't zipper merge correctly. I mean, once we got to a point where people were doing it right, like it was so smooth and we were going just, but trying to get out of the end of the aisles. Okay. Anyway. Um, so by the time we got home, it was about four o'clock this morning. I stayed up a little bit, but I had a really hard time keeping my eyes open. So went to bed, got up, but it kept me on my sleep schedule, right? For, well, it got me back on my sleep schedule because Friday I woke up early, um, cause I had a doctor's appointment and then Saturday we woke up early to go to San Antonio. So having to stay up that late to drive home, flipped me back around and then, I had no problem sleeping until 2.30 this afternoon. And um, so then I did my daily 100 on Once Upon a Fairy Tale. So we got this third little box down here. Um, that does put me at 1,200 for all that. So we've got 300 more to go. We will have this done by the end of the week as long as we get to work on it all the days that it's scheduled for. Because today is Sunday. Um, we'll have Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So there's that looking so good um so yeah and I made up my schedule for this week I work I was off today obviously I work Monday Tuesday Wednesday those three days will be garden prelude and then garden prelude should be caught up it'll be at its 1500 and then um once upon a fairy tale all the days that I'm off this week and it will be at its 1500 and then we'll move on down the list which I haven't looked at in a hot minute, so I'm not sure where things are. Uh, we'll figure that out when we need to. And then tonight I worked on Nordic band sampler because I really, I was close to getting it caught up and I really wanted to get it caught up. Um, so that's where we're at. And like I said, I actually did quite a bit of cleaning and stuff tonight. So I didn't actually get started stitching till almost one o'clock this morning. It is now just after four o'clock and it's done. So that was with obviously some distractions in between because there's not that much to cheat, but that's it. Apologies. Um, I do have, so you're not allowed to video record in the haunted houses or anything, um, but in the scare zones you can. And I didn't think about it in the first scare zone, which y'all would have died laughing. It was so good so good um but I did take some video in the second scare zone so um I will include that at the end and it's it's pretty funny um but yeah that's it for me this week um getting ready for this coming up week um I'll post my schedule I did I did post it last week we kept to it really well um gonna post again this week so today sunday was nordic band sampler tomorrow monday is um earth queen or dark queen of the earth i'm gonna call her affectionately earth queen because every time i say dark queen i think of dark queen of the seas so so we got dark queen and earth queen that's how it's working in my brain um mirror mask because we picked it again this month so I need to get uh, a few hundred stitches more on it. I don't know exactly where I landed the last time I worked on it, but I know we got started on this month, maybe 100, 150 stitches in. Um, Earth Queen still needs five or 600 stitches. Um, Wednesday will be trick or treat. I seriously only need 70 stitches on it, so we'll try and get a couple hundred, but um, 
when I left off working on it last week, I had 432 stitches. So, um, Thursday, we're going to do work on Lady of the Flag because she did not get into last week's rotation and we got to work on this month's piece. Friday, um, I am starting Celebrate Halloween with Jessie Marie. Now, that could happen Friday or Saturday. So, if she can't, if she decides not to do it till Saturday, we'll just flip flop Friday and Saturday. And Saturday will be temperature butterfly, so we can get caught up on it. We were almost there. I have like not like three full days and four or five partial days to get to finish up August and be moving into September. So um, if we keep working on it every Saturday and my other Saturdays aren't like this past Saturday, we should get caught up pretty quickly. So that's the plan for this coming up week. So if you're new here, I hope you found something that interests you and you'll join me next week and make sure I stick to my stitching plan. Um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back week after week. I appreciate y'all all so much. Um, thank you for watching, liking, subscribing, commenting all the ways that you show you love me and I'll be back next week.